Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. Today, I want to talk about uh, cholesterol. Yeah, the thing my doctor said, oh, you know, uh, your cholesterol's high, you're a type 2 diabetic, it's going to kill you. Yes, I'm sure it will. As will a bus, a rabid dog, I don't know, car crash, one of those fine cars where the airbag explodes and it puts some piece of shrapnel through my jugular. I don't know, which way do I want to go? Not that I have a choice in any of them. Uh, you know, so when they have that big fear-mongering thing, you really need to think it out. But you still need to listen to your doctor. And you need to decide what you're going to do. So my doctor says to me, oh, I have this medication. All the new, you know, cholesterol drugs. I don't even know their names because I didn't want to hear them. I wanted the old ones before they had changed them, the ones that give you the shoulder pain, the weakness, the dizziness. No thanks, I already have those problems. <laughs> Just born that way, I suppose. I don't need anything to, you know, kind of really bring those to the forefront. So I asked them to look at older medications. And in the 70s, they created their first set of, uh, of uh, cholesterol-lowering medications before they made the adjustments to the dizzy, achy, crappy shit that we have now. And so I said to them, all right, fine, I will take the lowest possible dose of that really old medication. If I find out what it is, I'll post it in the comments. So if someone is interested, I'll tell you. And so he did. He prescribed five milligrams. And I was like, all right, five milligrams, I can handle that. And I took it. And I said, when my cholesterol gets in, li in line, uh, then I don't want to take this anymore. So what did I do? And how did I change this? Well, number one, it's a crap shit food that you eat that's going to get your cholesterol through the roof. Number one. So you need to realize that you're going to have to change a few things uh, if you want to ever get off that medication. Because believe me, I have no... Uh, no interest in swallowing 30 pills throughout a day uh, just so that my body functions, quote, normally when it's been medically altered through prescriptions. So I went and I did some research and I found that, you know, flaxseed. Well, what is flaxseed? Flaxseed is soluble fiber. Love soluble fiber. My absolute favorite thing. Soluble fiber, it's like gelatin. It kind of encompasses around your food and it kind of pushes it through. So some of the food and the nut nutrients break through, but you don't have all that processed crap breaking down, jacking up your sugars and jacking up your cholesterol and putting that crappy oil into your bloodstream that, you know, kind of encompasses your heart and squeezes until you have a massive heart attack. Yeah, that, that lovely stuff. Yeah, it's called processed food. If you have never heard of it. Yeah, anyways, moving on, moving on here. So I, uh, I do like, you know, about, I think an eighth of a cup. I put it in water, I put it in my coffee. You know, soluble fiber, it tends to help things pass through so that I don't have all that excess crap just kind of, you know, floating through my bloodstream. What else do I do? Because that, that can't be all, right? No, you're right, it isn't all. What I do is I add hemp oil, H-E-M-P oil. Yeah, those marijuana fans, you know what I'm talking about. But this is hemp oil, doesn't make you high, but it will uh, allow your cholesterol to drop. One of the key uh, fats, one of the key omega-6s in hemp oil is uh, G-A-L-A. What does it do? It helps to collect uh, your cholesterol and deposit it out of your body. So if the flaxseed uh, kind of encompasses around like a, like a gel around your food, so kind of like, you know, you don't get all of the crap and it pushes it out of your system. And then you have the hemp oil on top of it, which helps to reduce cholesterol by binding to it. And then, of course, that goes out of your body as well. You're helping to reduce cholesterol. Key thing, diet. The crap food that you eat, doesn't matter how much hemp oil you put in, I put it in water, I put it in my coffee, I put it in my tea, it has a nice nutty flavor. Both of them have a nice nutty flavor, so it's not like, eh. But then again, you're not going to know unless you try it. I went eight weeks with hemp oil and flaxseed, ground flaxseed meal is what I use. I put it in my coffee, both of them. Uh, and when I went to the doctor eight weeks later to have a cholesterol test, all of my cholesterol levels, try, try uh, high, high uh, let's see, HDL, LDL, and triglycerides, all of them were below the minimum level. In eight weeks, with just five milligrams of that little ancient old pill that was created in 1972 to reduce cholesterol. And I said, and the doctor said to me, oh my God, what did you, what did you do? I said, what do you mean, what did I do? I got rid of crap. I ate healthier foods. I made healthier options. I ate more fiber. I ate oils that had a benefit to reducing my cholesterol, not ones that were produced to increase my cholesterol. So that's all you need to really do. Now, if your doctor prescribes you cholesterol medication, work with your doctor. Some doctors will be obstinate like medication and, and pills are the only way. Well, that's great and fine if that's what they believe. Find yourself another doctor is my recommendation, but not all people can.
So you can try a little bit of that if you'd like and see if that helps. And all of a sudden you go and your cholesterol is down 30, 40 points and you made no other change other than flaxseed meal and hemp oil in your coffee in just as a watery drink, whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, you say to your doctor, well, you know, I did this and I did this. So, you know, why don't I come back for my next test? And if I'm still down or even lower, how about we drop that dose down and let's see how that goes in another eight weeks. And if your cholesterol is coming down and the amount of pills you're taking are coming down, well, I would think it would be better to go natural than it would be from something grown in a Petri dish that probably sells for about $1,000. And if your insurance covers it, you probably pay 20 or 30 So you can go natural or you can go Petri. The choice is yours. How you die is clearly not any choice uh, that you have in the matter, especially when we have airbags that will blow up and uh, rip a hole through your jugular vein, and within probably 30 seconds, you will have bled out and died. So then, at that point, who really gives a rat's ass about your cholesterol? So, <laughs> that's everything I wanted you to know, and have a great day, and I hope you learn a few things from the things that I have learned from trial and error in my life, and with that, ciao for now.